to the Oceans of Possibility Art Kits. We're going to be doing watercolors with pen today. I'm Miss Mary Jo. I'm Miss Janet. So what we're going to be doing is, since we're doing Oceans of Possibilities, we are going to be making some fish. And they can be kind of simple because we're going to add details with pen in a minute. So pick your colors, Miss Janet, and start mixing some water with your paint and we can make some fish. I'm gonna stick with my oceany theme mm. here. I mixed up some blue and green and got this nice turquoise. Ooh, you want turquoise to my turquoise. Mm -hmm. And I am just gonna paint myself a simple little fish here. Oh my goodness. My tail is backwards. Ah, okay, he's gonna get a square tail. I'm sure there's a fish out there with some kind of square tail. So if you want, you could plan on cutting them out or you could just put a bunch of them on your paper and keep decorating. Oh, yours is so nice. You're gonna be so sad when I give you this little dry one. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we can't add any details to our wet watercolors. That is not gonna work. Okay. I'm having trouble with my tail. I did a triangle. I get it back. Where yeah, you did it back. Just make it square. That's what I do. Okay. He has a square tail now. No big deal. Don't dolphins and stuff have square tails? Um, I think they got pointy tails. They do. Okay. Yeah, they do. So, okay. <laughs> don't forget, if you like our kinds of arts and crafts, we've got lots of great art books at the library. We've got actual physical books, and then we also have e-books that you can borrow with your library card online. So, Miss Janet, to add some details, I am going to give you one I already painted this morning, and it just occurred to me... These look like the fish that you eat. <laughs> so I had these great ideas here about adding lines and squiggles to our fish. So you can add some lines or squiggles to add some details to our fish. I'm gonna add my eye. Ooh, and I like the little bumps. I'm gonna do the bumps. And the bumps went this way. And it's fun to add details. To your watercolor and you can just use a regular ballpoint pen but you really do have to wait until they dry <laughs> and it can be kind of realistic or it can be fantastic oh i like yours i like the fantastic idea very contained very contained and you guys might see these again so enjoy i'm going to add some extra lines to my seaweed there. Okay, very nice. Thank okay. you. Hey, can we pause for a minute? <laughs> and now we are going to use the same watercolor and ink technique to make some fun flowers. So there are tons of great examples out there, but again, you got to let it dry before you go on to the next step. And I think we are going to be bumping into each other because we're going to be over there with the reds and yellows for the flowers as opposed to the blues and greens for the ocean. So you could probably do a oceany kind of flower. So a lot of the flowers that you draw, just the little petals. Oh, and I found out the hard way, you really can't have the brown centers touch the yellow petals earlier today. And there's some very sad mm. flowers. I think you'll see it in a minute. I hadn't meant. <laughs> oh, it's my black eyed Susan. Okay. Grab whatever color this is and oh yeah because this is a nice simple one so you just make the blob and then we'll add the lines to make it look like a rose in a second that's a nice simple one. Ooh, that's gonna be a pretty color can i still see that color some. oh sure. thank you i'll do my rose there and that's the nice thing about the watercolors is they're very shareable and they last for a long time but please make sure you dry them up before you put them away Oh, and I'm going to do one like this. Oh, daddy. And then when you add the stem and stuff, it looks like a flower because there are flowers that look like that, like a clover and a chrysanthemum. That one's fun. And I am going to add a little leaves on this one. Now, if you had a marker, you could add marker. We have pen, so we'll add some pen. And I'm going to add a little stem here because I only have 
But remember, it's be creative, do what you want to do. Don't follow along exactly what we're doing. Steal our ideas, use them. And then somebody had a like a, let me make a purple rosebud. It just boop, boop. It's like the top half of my fish. Oh, those are very nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So you ready to start working, putting some pen on the ones that are already dry? Yes. So then, okay, after it dries, you can add details with your pen. So when you start with a circle one like this, hopefully it's dry enough, you can just add a swirl in there and it turns that blob into a rose. And I'm gonna add some details. Oh, Miss Janet's got a beautiful one over there. Add some details to this and make it look a little more like a rosebud. And you could add a center or you could add some outlines. Make it look a little more outliney and a little less watercolory. So those are some ways you can add some ink to your watercolors and make them look a little different than they started out. So thank you for joining us. We had a good time. We'll see you again thank next time. You.